Angelo Joaquin Jr. is a respected member of the Tohono O'odham Nation, which has its home in the second largest Native American reservation in the U.S. in southern and central Arizona. In 1980, Joaquin was approached to become a board member of Native Seeds Search. A few years later, he became the organization's Native American Outreach Coordinator, then worked on its diabetes project, and eventually was named Executive Director of Native Seeds Search. Native Seed Search was an experience that was different for me because we're looking at uh, seeds from two different standpoints, or at least I had to. One was from the scientific perspective and one was from the cultural perspective. The people who collected the seeds and are taking properties from these seeds to create new species are doing this in a lab and they're doing it very quickly. Native farmers did the same thing but over generations. And they have attached songs, prayers, ceremonies, and other uh, relative activities to these seeds. So while some people can understand strictly the scientific aspect, for me as an autumn and for autumn in general, the seeds that come from the desert are the most valuable. They are much more useful and uh, have to be, again, acknowledged to be gifts from the Creator. The founders were concerned that the crops were endangered because of the fact that farmers weren't um, producing as much as they had in the past. Some of it was due to the uh, environment changing um, and some of it was simply disinterest. You can buy foods at the store and not have to go out and harvest them, but they recognized, the founders did, that it was these unique seeds, these unique varieties that could serve as a safeguard against losing species of foods um, through uh, a number of catastrophes. And the fact that these seeds had specific genes that for some allowed them to be drought resistant, others uh, they could take um, the heat and, and other factors. And if all of these seeds are taken and put into a, a bank, a seed bank, then future generations would be able to go and not only collect that seed and put it back in the ground so it didn't disappear, totally, but also those unique characteristics of the genes, uh, of the seeds, might be extracted and uh, used in other seeds to help them survive. Today, in a genetically engineered, um, I can't even call it an environment, um, but given that our foods are specifically produced uh, in, in a way that I think um, is a shortcut from the way that native peoples and others used to grow crops. We are facing what I think is um, a possible catastrophe. Uh, one disease could knock out all of the genetically engineered crops that we have a crop rather, whereas with the unique seed qualities that are present uh, in the collections at Native Seed Search, we're able to keep 
that particular species alive. And, and, and once again, we can probably uh, provide these specific genes to scientists to help better uh, future crops. The knowledge that has been accumulated around the seeds, around the culture in general, it is the responsibility of my generation to ensure that that is passed on to the next generation who will then pass it on to future generations of autumn. This is the Thana.